Welcome to another one of my cheesy YouTube videos. Today is part two of my 1968 Dodge D100 rebuild video. And today we're going to start reassembling the transmission. So let me show you how I make gaskets. There's several ways I'm making gaskets and it's actually been a while since I had to make one. But one of the more popular ways is to peen it. And for me, I use a real small ball peen hammer. It's actually about, and that's about the only reason why I ever use this hammer. I'm making the top cover, by the way. In this case, I just take the, the ball, the ball peen hammer. But if you hit on a more of a sharp edge, you'll find that edge. And it'll cut that gasket. Now this edge right here is sharper than this edge, so it's not cutting as well. And I chose a gasket material that was close to the same thickness as the gasket I took off. I'm trying to let the hammer tear this because if I just try to tear it by hand I could rip the gasket. I don't know if you see that, but I'm beating where there's a bolt hole. I can go ahead and put a bolt in this hole. Just to help keep the gaskets sitting where it needs to be. That one went in the hole. Now I'll just go around the edge. You can also use the flat side of the hammer. I forgot. I'll need to blow the transmission out and all the bolt holes out. Make sure there's no remnants of the gasket in there. This gasket broke right here. That hole's a blind hole and it has nothing to do with the outside, so I'm not worried about that. It's not like it's going to allow oil to pass outside the transmission. But here we go, here's my top cover gasket. <laughs> 